Hey Ivan, I'm Armozi and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I decided to convert the Eyeless Ones village. Because they have a healer unit. I'm actually considering assimilating them. The only problem is that I won't get another assimilation slot anytime soon. The next assimilation slot, the next technology that unlocks an extra assimilation slot is right here in the fourth era. So, not anytime soon. But I could replace this faction. I lost some food, but I'm not using the Centaur. And I would really like to get an upgradable healer unit. Anyway, convert them first. That will give me one unit, but that's non-upgradable. Yeah, I would like to get these guys. So I'm strongly considering assimilating them. Anyway, I'm going to move back to my capital with one of these armies, because I don't like leaving it completely undefended. And I'm still at war with the roving clans. My plan right now is to raise this city and then maybe get a truce with the Ardent Mages. I don't want to completely eliminate them just yet because I might be able to get some technologies from them in exchange for truce. There are at least two technologies they have that I would really like to get. The tech that would give me extra two slots on my armies and the tech that will unlock the science workshop or whatever it's called. We'll see. So I'll move one of these armies back to my city. This one maybe? Or maybe both? I'm not sure if there's a garrison in this city. I can't attack it on this turn because I have no actions left. I can move towards it. Send the healer to. Yeah, I guess so. He can help. Alright, I'll send these guys back to my capital. They can heal up. I should sell some of them. One thing I can do is hire another hero. To have a second general. That's not a bad idea. That would cost me quite a lot. I could buy a hero for 800. Maybe this guy? He has army damage boost. It's a ranged unit. I don't have a lot of good ranged units. Yeah, I think so. Let's go for it. And I can assign him to one of my armies. Oh, the roving clans are actually coming. Dervish. That's a melee unit. Okay. Well, assign the hero here. Are they actually planning to attack me or something? Good question. I have no idea. I guess I'm about to find out. I'll finish that Minotaur. Oh, I have one unit down here. I guess I can use that for defense. But I'll sell him on the marketplace for money soon. Anyway, this turn is done. Yep. Oh, can I convert this? No, I have a quest to pacify all the Hans villages. Yes, I do. Which one was it? Yeah, this one. Convert all the Hans villages. I would have to convert them, not just pacify. But I would get 25 tit Titan Bones from that. Which is what again? I don't actually remember. I think that's extra attack. Speaking of extra attack... No, that's not extra attack. The Blood Crystal is extra attack. I might actually use that right now, or save it for something harder. Extra experience wouldn't be bad. Or I can save it for later. I'm not actually getting any of these luxuries. Well, I'm getting this one, gold, plus 0.7. Let's use this one. Okay. That will give me some extra dust. But this turn is done. What are the roving clans going to do? He might attack my armies here, they are not exactly strong. Unskilled labor research is done. Let's move. Now, is he going for my city? Interesting. Yeah, this army is actually fairly strong. Retreat. Or my units are weak. <laughs> One or the other. It's kind of both, I suppose. Alright, let's raise this already. Only one militia unit, I'll use auto. And now I can try to negotiate with the Ardent Mages. Get some text from them in exchange for truth. 
They are down to one region, so they are kind of irrelevant now. Well, let's make it happen. They are exhausted. Trolls. Which text do I want? They are still not willing to trade for this one, really? But I really want this tech. What if I give them some dust? Oh, okay. 100. 250. I could get this for around 300. I also want Alchemy Workshop. Can I get both? I can get both. 500. 600. Okay, I can get both for less than 600. That's not a bad deal. I want both these technologies. The Alchemy Workshop is plus 20% science in the city, as well as plus 15 science. And this will give me extra army unit slots. So I want both. Okay, 581. There we go. Okay, I got two good technologies out of this. Now I can merge these. And these. Yep, on the next turn. So I'll get a Minotaur on the next turn. I can still move. So let's move. I should be fine now. But this was slightly unexpected. Not completely unexpected because I knew they have very fast units. Yeah, 7 movement. That's quite a lot. My fanatics are still faster. <laughs> okay. End the turn. Are they going to attack me again? Another centaur? Yeah, they attacked me again. I'll just retreat again. I'm not ready to fight yet. I want to fight on my terms, so I'll just retreat. I lost some units, which is kind of unfortunate because I basically lost money. But oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. Oh! The roaming minor faction army attacked me. Okay, I'll do this manually because I don't want to lose anything. I shouldn't lose anything, this should be pretty easy, but I'll do it manually anyway. Okay, that's the hero. Looks good. And there's the healer, as part of reinforcements. Okay, focus on one at a time, I suppose. Buff the hero up. And I can actually do some healing, which is nice. 48 damage. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. 120. Yeah, this will be easy. Already killed 2 out of 3. <laughs> oh, this is going to be easier than I expected. <laughs> yeah, my Manotors are pretty strong. And these are just basic units. Yep, it's done. Did I just get a level up? Yeah, I think so. On a unit, but on the Fanatic. Nice. Alright, let's move. I'll merge with the healer. So... Yeah, like this. Come on. And what are the roving clans doing? Well, I'll just chill around here. And maybe attack him on the next turn. He might attack me. But I would be okay with that. If he decides to attack my hero. This might be interesting. Well, we'll see. I can't do much else on this turn. I do have two more units here. Hmm. Okay, merge these. And move towards him. This army is not that strong. I only have one proper unit and the hero. I'll stay inside the city. So next turn, what is he going to do? Oh, he's moving towards the city. He's actually sieging the city. Okay, bro. Now I can attack him. Yep. I think I have to attack him with the army inside the city to get reinforcements. No, I can't do that. Yes, I can. Right. I do have an advantage, but it's much smaller than I expected. Well, let's do it. 
This will be a fun fight at least. I like those. He has a lot of these melee cavalry units. 95 attack, 61 damage. Cavalry Slayer. What exactly is charge? Oh yeah, plus 50% attack per cross style. Well, he won't really get a chance to use that very well. Let's see. I'll probably lose some of these units. Oh, my hero is at 16 life. Yeah, that's kind of bad. That's because I had to retreat earlier. These are all melee, so I just need to block the way. And I need my reinforcements. They will arrive a little bit later. Move out of the way. Well, I can't do much better than this at the moment. Let's see. My unit will move first. So I'll buff him up. Like this. And attack. Focus on one at a time. That's ranged. That's the hero. Militia. And that's... Oh yeah, that's my governor. What exactly is he? Oh, he's infantry. That's not super useful for me at the moment. Okay, launch the attack. I will definitely lose some of the units in the front because they are very weak. The centaurs are just way too weak. They will die. Yeah, 127 damage. That's to be expected. Yeah, rip hero. Unfortunate, I'll just have to bring him back. This will be a tough fight. I do have the other hero. Well, not yet, but... He should arrive. My actual general. Not the governor, dude. I don't really care about the governor, dude. Other than the fact I don't want him to die. So, militia. How do I want to do this? My Minotaur is going to die. He's down to 37 life. This is actually going to be pretty tough. Well, let's kill the unit that I actually can kill. And then... This hero is actually pretty strong. Let's buff him up then. Okay, this looks fine. I need more reinforcements. One down. 64 damage. 91 damage. I need to recruit more proper upgradable units. Which is what I'm doing. 61. 123. Nice. 39. Is that the hero up there? I think that might be the hero. I can't check until my turn. 33. 17. Yeah, that's the hero. And she has army health boost. I should kill her if possible. I definitely should. But I can't reach her with most of my units, just with the center at the moment. Let's see. I will lose the preacher, but that's fine, I suppose. I'll buff the Minotaur before the preacher dies. Attack this dude. He's probably going to die. Move like this, then attack. Come on. I want you to move here. And then attack. Yep, just like that. Another the dervish. Okay, launch. Kill it. Nice, 168. My center will get killed. But I'm hoping to attack the hero before he dies. Yeah, he will be fine. My preacher will die. Yep. But that's to be expected. Can my center attack before he dies? Yeah, he'll be fine. And he took zero damage from the hero attack. No, he can't attack anymore. Because he got attacked too many times. But this fight is in the bag now, I think. It's just a question of how many more units are lost. Hopefully zero, but I will definitely lose at least the centaur. There's no way I can save him. Yeah, I can't save him. 
My hero is here. Alright, like this. Nice, 279 damage, holy crap. 168. Oh, he's still alive, unfortunately. My centaur died, rip. 33. Okay, this is going well. Another one down. And this guy will die. Yep. Only the hero remaining. So, yep, it's done. The hero will die. Right now. I should get some decent experience from this. And I kill his hero. 39. Hopefully I weaken the roving clans enough to maybe destroy a few more cities. I will go after the roving clans next. The other mages are irrelevant. And the wild walkers are kind of strong. The wild walkers have the strongest military at the moment. I could have played this particular fight a little bit better, but oh well. It's fine. I lost a few units. It's mostly the Minotaur and the Preacher. Okay. Well, let's check his military strength now. Military. I think I have to wait one more turn to see the change. 768 and I have 351. No, that's the wrong faction I'm looking at. Yeah, that's the right faction I'm looking at. Alright. So, merge these. I need to get more proper units. But I want to finish the science buildings because, you know, I kind of need them. Finish this first, then get the workshop. I could use some of these. I suppose I should. Alright, I'll get it on the next turn. Yeah, I should just use more than this. 19. That's how much production? Plus 175. That's pretty good. Okay. That'll give me a nice boost for several turns. Oh, I need to unassign the hero. But he's locked. For two more turns. Can't I merge units with the hero? No movement points left. Never mind. Just end this turn. Another unit. I'll just sell it. Yep. Sell the centaur too. Yeah, these non-upgradable units just aren't strong enough anymore. Not at this stage of the game. So I'll just keep using them as extra money, basically. Because that's exactly what they are. Extra money. Okay, units. Fanatics and Minotaurs. And one Preacher, at least. The order doesn't matter all that much. I can get Preacher on the next turn, then Fanatic, then Minotaur. I don't need all this food. But I still want the city to grow in two turns, if possible. It might grow without all this population. Yeah, I think it will. Okay. Move some to Science, because, you know, I need Science still. Smelting Station in six turns. And merge this. Oh yeah, because there are two heroes here. I'll need to create two separate armies. Okay, I'll use my proper faction units for this guy. That's my main hero. So to speak. So this will be my main army that's going to use upgradable units only. And the other hero will be my backup army. And she will use the leftover units, I suppose. I should just sell the dredge at least. Yeah, because it's a little bit crap. I'll keep the healer, because even a weak healer will be useful. Empire plant soon, and need to use the booster again. Do I want to use any of these other boosters? I might just use the science booster right now. Okay, let's use the science booster to speed things up. Melting station, 5 turns. Can I bring it down to 4? Yes, I can bring it down to 4. 
I'm still going after the roving clans. But I'm waiting for another unit or two. Construction complete. I'll probably keep some basic defenses in my city, you know, just in case. In case the wild walkers get any silly ideas. Do I really want two preachers in this army? I think two preachers are a bit of an overkill. Because it's not really a good combat unit. It's just good for the buff. Okay, that's better. So, Fanatic, Minotaur... Yeah, I'd like a mix of both. I won't be replacing the Minotaur village, that's for sure. I might replace these guys right now. And get the healer. I'm not 100% sure if that's such a good idea still. My other option is to get the horns for the science bonus. I could actually get the horns in this region, because this region has three horns villages. So that's going to be plus 15% science. And I still have a quest to actually destroy this. Yeah, I should do that. I mean, not destroy, convert. Yeah, convert all the Hans villages. That's the region the quest is talking about. I should do that quest. Alright, let's do it then. What are the rewards? Oh yeah, 25 Titan Bones. And Titan Bones are plus 50% production. Yeah, I need that. I'm going to prioritize that then. If the roving clans come to attack me, I'll have my armies nearby. I got 800 dust. I could rush something. Not yet. Maybe later. Two more turns for the smelting station. Another fanatic. So he can join this. So. Assimilate or not? I don't like losing plus 15% food. Because that's a significant loss. Cold War, okay. Market ban. Ask me if I care. Well, I actually kind of do, but whatever. Construction complete. I'm glad I bought the hero before I got the market ban. <laughs> Right, let's go attack more villages then. I'll sell the Ended. Or maybe keep him for now. Keep him for my other army. I'll sell them once I get units to replace them with. This is going to be my city defense for now. Okay. One unit? Oh, that's a settler. Alright, if he's going to settle a city, I'm going to attack and raise that city. So be my guest and do it. I don't mind. Okay, this army will just chill around here. How strong are the Wild Walkers now? Military. Yeah, their military is just crazy. What about population? Okay, industry. And research. This is number of technologies. So the roving clans are significantly in the lead. I'm actually second in science. That's not bad. I need to weaken the roving clans. That's still the number one priority. Also, I should get a new district. So after the Minotaur. Get one here. I think I'm going to maximize my district levels at this point. Yeah. So if I build one here, I will level up this district. I'll just build around my city center to get the city center to level 3. I like that idea. So this goes here. I suppose I can delay that Minotaur. Nah. Let's not do that. You can just chill. Inside the city. And this turn is done. Melting station is done. Very nice. I got another unit to sell. No, it's not done, really? 
Okay, one more ten. Whatever. Where's that unit? What? Where is it? Oh, all the way back here, right. I'll just sell this one. It's too far away to be useful. Oh no, I can't sell it because I got the market ban. Oh yeah, that's actually really annoying. Okay, so I'll have to use these units as cannon fodder then. Yeah, that's actually really annoying. Well, I need to hurt the roving clans enough to get rid of the market ban. Yep, that's pretty much what I'll have to do. That's yet another reason to go after them. So, hero. I'll just level up these skills now. But what do I want the most? Defense? Life? Defense on units or life on units? Good question. Can I get anything else that will be useful for my army? No, I don't think so. No. Minus military upkeep. Okay, so... Life on units or defense on units? I do like defense, because with enough defense you can potentially not take damage. And I think that's stronger than plus 25 life. It depends on what your defense already is. I do have some percentage defense boosts. So I think I'm going to stack defense. Alright, let's do that then. And he did start a city. <laughs> really? Okay, whatever floats his boat. I'll destroy it. And yeah, I still want to convert these villages. Where's the third one? Convert. Where's the third one? There should be one more. I'm not seeing the third one. Is it here? I must be blind because I'm not seeing the third one, but I can still explore the ruin up here. So, search. I found nothing. Oh, this is the third one, right. I was looking at it. <laughs> that was silly. One more turn for the Minotaur, then I'll get the District. So converting that last one will complete the quest and will give me 25 Titan Bones. I finished the Smelting Station. So that's going to give me plus 0 0.5 Palladian per turn. That's not bad. Now I could go for some military technologies. I'll just attack them. Unless they will give me... And is it to complete quest? Oh yeah, I can't actually negotiate. Okay, just attack them. And I'll use Zoto because this is an easy fight. So, and I got level up on my units. On the Preacher. Now I have to convert this. 400. I'll have that on the next turn. Alright, I might actually use that booster right away. Possibly. As for my research, I should actually research the Reaping Station. That's only four turns, and once I'm done with that, then I could go for uncommon armor. I could also go for weapons. Maybe. It's a tough choice. Only four turns. I could go for both. I think I prefer weapons. Yeah, weapons first. So, move this. That market ban is actually a lot more annoying than I thought it will be. <laughs> but it's okay, he'll pay for it. I will wait for these upgrades before I attack the roving class properly. That will give me a significant boost. But I need to move back into my territory to upgrade these units. I will need to upgrade them for sure. Another unit. So convert that. And that should complete the quest on the next turn. It also gave me extra units. Yep, I'll just use them as throwaway army or whatever. Or I can sell them later, once I get rid of the market ban. Okay, they are quite fast. No, I don't want to search. 
Oh, are there searchable ruins here? No, not around here at least. Alright, marriage. And let's move. Yeah, I'm going back into my territory. I will research the reaping station though. Alright, and the turn. Give me that production booster already. Come on. I will use it right away. Are we there yet? Come on. There we go. That's 25 Titan Bones. A roaming army that refuses to convert, blah blah blah. Find them and kill them. That sounds easy enough. Well, that's already it. I'll use auto. That looks like an easy fight. And that completed the quest. I got Fairy Glass still for free. Not that I really need it, but okay. This is a faction quest. 320 dust. Search the temple ruins with... What? I'm not giving you all that crap. Just forget about it. But the ruin is right next to me. Still, they aren't going to get that many resources. I don't even have that many resources, so never mind actually giving them out. I indeed need these resources for unit upgrades. That's kind of the whole point. Yeah. I'll just have to do it in the future. Some undefined future. I'll use the production booster right away. So, pop that. Do I want to pop anything else? Probably not. I still got the attack booster, but I think I'm going to keep that to fight the wild walkers. Because the wild walkers have the strongest army right now. So I might need that attack booster to actually beat them. In any case, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in the next one. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. And I'll see you next time.